Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios and today we're going to be comparing Collecta versus Schleich models. So when I first um, started looking at buying Collecta models, I was really like looking for pictures and things and I found that it was really hard to find like a really good comparison video of Collecta versus Schleich. So I thought that this would be really helpful for you guys who are looking into buying Collecta models. I've been a Schleich collector for a really long time, but I think um, I'm not as big of a fan of the newer Schleich models, so I started looking for some alternative models that were more realistic. And I definitely found that Collecta models were very realistic, and I think you can definitely see that in this video. The only thing I want to say um, is when you are buying the Collecta models online um, and not in store, sometimes it can be hard to tell what size they can be. Some Collecta models are a little bit bigger than Schleich scale, and they're a little bit bigger than Schleich models. And some of the other ones are like a little bit smaller and they're a little bit like smaller than the average Schleich. So just be careful and look at the measurements of the Schleich figures versus the collect figures if you're trying to maintain a consistent scale. Also, the deluxe collectas are larger scale, so I would say they're like in between Briar and Schleich scale. So here are all the models that I'm going to be comparing today. I need to take off the blankets because I feel like I wouldn't really be showing you guys the entire horse if I was showing them with the blankets on. So I'm going to take these off and I will start in just a minute. Okay, this actually took a lot longer than I expected because I had to take off all of these blankets. And the reason I feel like a lot of my models are in such good quality like condition is because I have blankets on them. Actually, I know that's why because when I pack them and, you know, put them next to each other, they are protected. So a lot of them stay in much better quality than they would if they didn't have a blanket on. So that's one thing. If you ever want to purchase any blankets, I have a bunch of them for sale on my Etsy and they are like the most important thing I think for protecting your model. Okay, so our first comparison is going to be between the Dartmoor Mare Schleich version and the Dartmoor Mare Collector version. So I really love both of these models, I'm not gonna lie. Because this is old Schleich, I think it's a lot more detailed and I'm just a really big fan of this figure. Um, however, I do have to say this figure is definitely a lot more detailed uh, with the sculpting and also one thing about Collectas that I really love is just like they have just so much a lot more detail i think the paint job is not like the best that's one thing about collectors sometimes like their paint job is good and sometimes it's not but you always have the option of repainting um in general i love i just really love this model i just think she's really cute um and i also really like this like model and but it is old like so it's kind of hard to compare. Um, I do have the new Dartmoor Mirror, um, the new Schleich Dartmoor Mirror, and I'm not as big of a fan um, of that model. So if you are looking between new Schleich and this model, I would definitely choose this one. But this one is also a very good option, but it is old Schleich, so it's not exactly like the best comparison. But they're both really good models. Uh, I love both of them a lot. <laughs> the next comparison is going between the retired Dartmoor Stallion and the Collecta Dartmoor Stallion. So I really love this um, model of Collecta, but I also really love this model of Schleich, but yet again, like I said, this is old Schleich, so not the best comparison if you're looking at current molds. Um, I really love his windblown hair. I just, just like the shape of everything on this model. Um, I would say Collecta still is more detailed, like in the face, you can tell like there's a lot more um, facial detail and um the paint job isn't bad on this one i really like and if you're wondering what the difference of the belly looks like um that's just collecta's branding which is also um collecta is uh, associated with briar so they are both really nice and are about the same size so if you're wondering like which one you want to get um they're about the same size if you want both the next comparison is going to be between the collecta shetland and the uh, Schleich Shetland. So these are both Shetland mares. Uh, I, I honestly like both of these. This is definitely like the cuter, I guess, one, and this is the more realistic one. I'm not a huge fan of this one's paint job. I think the dapples are a little random and not like the best, but they're okay. Um, and you can see on the face, there's definitely a lot more detail on the collective version, but I think that this one is a little bit more like cutesy. And But if you're looking for the more realistic version, then Collecta is definitely the way to go. And they're about the same size. This one is a little bit smaller, as you can see, but they're both still super cute. 
The next comparison is between the Collecta Falabella and the Schleich Falabella. So this is also a retired Schleich model, but you can see the comparison. I honestly am in love with the Schleich Falabella mare, but the Collecta one is kind of hard to beat as well. Um, they are both super cute. This one is a little bit bigger, I do have to say, um, but definitely more detailed than the Schleich one. I think they're both pretty cute though. The next comparison is between the Collecta Fjord and the Schleich Fjord. So the Collecta Fjord actually comes in two colors. So they have the basic Dunn and then they think they have another Dunn color. This is a retired Schleich model. It is the retired um, Fjord Stallion. So these are both the Fjord Stallion molds. Um, I am a big fan of both of these actually, just because I am in love with Fjords. Again, I would say this is probably the more realistic model. Um, and as you can see, just on Collecta models in general, they have a lot more um, details on their wrinkles and things like that versus the Schleich model, which is, I think, a little bit more cute, I guess, and the eyes are a little bit bigger just in general on Schleich Collecta models. models. I mean, on Schleich models. <laughs> The next comparison is between the Collecta Paint Mare and the Schleich Paint Mare. This one, I would say I would probably have to go with the Collecta Mare. Um, she is just like so much more anatomically detailed than this mare. And I think her paint, like the coloration is a little bit more um, detailed as well. And as you can see on the face, there's like a lot more um, depth on the Collecta model. And they're about the same size as well. The next is the comparison between the Collecta Trichaner Stallion and the Schleich Trichaner Stallion. This one, I would say I'd have to hands down go with the Collecta model. Um, the Schleich model to me just looks a little strange with the proportions, um, but the Collecta model I would say is very good. Um, the face, just look at the detail difference. Uh, it's very different. And the eyes and like the whole face just kind of seems much more realistic to me than the Schleich version. Also, I really like the gray coloration they have here. And something on um, collector models or most collector models that Schleich models do not have is um, the small details of the chest knots on all four legs. So they have a little bit of a bump out and they actually paint it on all of them. And I think that's a really nice detail to add to a model. So the next comparison is not exactly a super fair comparison, I guess, because they are different breeds, but they're pretty similar, I guess. So this is the Missouri Fox Trotter Mare, and this is the Morgan Mare. I do not, Schleich does not produce a um, Missouri Fox Trotter Mare mold, but I thought that these two were kind of similar in a similar stance, um, in a way, I guess. <laughs> and they're both chestnuts. So you can see definitely on the Collecta model, there's a lot more detail on the face and there's a lot more um, anatomical detail around the leg muscles and just the shoulder as well. And these guys are around the same size. I'd say the Missouri Fox Trotter Mare is probably a little bit bigger, um, but as you can see her, the details like in the windblown hair is really nice as well. The next comparison I'm doing is between the Collecta Hanoverian Mare and the Schleich Hanoverian Mare. Um, so this model is, uh, the collective model is a little bit bigger than the Schleich model. Uh, I think I prefer the collective version just because, um, I think she's a little bit more detailed. And overall, I mean, like, I think it's a hard match. I, I think they're both pretty nice models, to be honest. Um, but the collective one is a little bit more detailed in just, like, the overall body. I feel like a lot of the Schleich models are softer around the body. This one does have a little bit of detail around the shoulder, so that is nice. Um, but again, they have a little bit more detail and they think about some other things. The paint job on this one is a little messed up. So as you can see, the, there's not a lot of shading that goes into this color. Um, but there is on this model, obviously. Um, so I think that just might be... This model, um, I've certainly seen a lot of paint defects on Schleich models as well, so it's not just a collector problem. All right, Roses, I hope that this video was super helpful in helping you decide if you want to start uh, collecting collector models or if you want to continue collecting just Schleich models. In my opinion, I kind of have been starting to prefer collector models a little bit over Schleich models, although I don't think I'll ever stop loving the Schleich brand. 
uh, just because they're super great and just like they're fun to have and fun to just collect with other people and have, like share photos and repaint. A lot of the websites I have in my where to buy like um, figures also sell collect models. So if you were wondering where can I buy these horses, um, you can find them on all of those websites as well, or a majority of them at least. I am waiting to order more collect models until model fair versand. Um, start shipping back into the United States because of COVID they stopped shipping to the US so I can't buy any horses right now which is really annoying because Collecta has come out with a ton of super exciting horses for 2020 or at least the second part of it um, and I can't wait to see what they do for 2021 as we already know what the horses are for Schleich for 2021 so I don't know if I can find those but I will try. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more content please that would help me out so much. Um, also, please check out my Instagram. I post there every single day. And finally, and most importantly, check out my Etsy. That is the entirely best way that you can support me. And I'm still doing custom commissions. If you're looking for a custom model just the way you want it on the model that you want, just message me through Etsy. And I also have a lot of blankets and tack and other accessories and lots of things for sale on my Etsy still. So check that out. I will leave the links for all of those things in the description. Stay sweet, roses. Mwah.